Hey there everybody, it's JP1970. And if you've been following my channel, you know a few things about me. You know I like uh, drones. You know I like riding motorcycles. You know I like shooting guns. But did you also know that I like to eat? Just like you, I get hungry. And I like to eat. So today, I'm going to make a teriyaki chicken bowl. And if you stick around, you're going to see how I did it. Here's what I'm going to need. Okay, here, let me get my, my items out here. First of all, I'm going to start with some uh, America's favorite rice. This is extra long enriched rice. Now, this is white rice. may not be the healthiest choice. If you want to, you could substitute brown rice. But I definitely recommend you get yourself some rice. You're going to need some chicken. I went with about a pound of these breast tenders, and I'm going to dice these up. But you're going to also need, I mean, we are trying to eat healthy here, right? So you're also going to need some vegetables. I went with some broccoli and some carrots. So I'm going to put all this stuff together, and, and I'm going to make a homemade chicken teriyaki bowl. Oh, wait, I forgot one, one other ingredient that I'm going to be using. From P.F. Chang's, some teriyaki sauce. I think this is going to be the secret ingredient that's going to make it all come together. So stick around. I'm going to move this over to the oven. Okay, the water is boiling. So what that means is it's time to start the rice. Now, I'm going to use cooking the rice kind of as the uh, as the timer for the rest of this meal. My rice is pre-measured. I put two cups water to one cup rice. Go ahead and pour that in and bring that back to a boil and cover for 20 minutes. And that's going to give me time to get started on everything else. Okay, so we're boiling. I'm going to reduce the heat to simmer. I'm going to set my kitchen timer to 20 minutes. It uh, generally cooks a little bit faster than that, so that's just going to kind of keep me on track. Now, what I have are, I have the raw vegetables are ready to go. I'm just going to kind of put a little half and half into this pan and cook those towards the end when the rice is cooking. And then I went ahead and cubed up my chicken. So I'm going to let this get going for a little bit, and then I'll come back and get started with the rest of this. It's time to cook the chicken. So I am going to cook the chicken over medium to low heat. I'm going to put a little pure vegetable oil in there. A little, little, little bit, not too much, hopefully. There we go. Let that heat up a little bit. As you can tell, I got my kids behind me here. They're very curious what's going on in the kitchen today. Uh, let's see, let's see. Chicken's in the fridge. I'm gonna bring this back out and spread the oil around in the pan. Show you everything I'm doing. I went ahead and I put this, uh, put the heat on the uh, on my water and I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken in the pan. This has got chicken juice on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that away. I've got my rice boiling. All right, so let me show you what I'm doing here. I've got the chicken cooking. I've got the water for my vegetables heating up. I've got my rice cooking. Got about 10 minutes to go. The very last thing I'm going to do is add this. Oh yeah, I can hear my chicken starting to sizzle. So, very last thing I'm going to do is add this stuff. Let me just get a... I want to smell it. It's from the good folks at P.F. Chang's, so you know it's good. Take a whiff. Mmm. That's teriyaki sauce, my friends. Yeah. Now that's going to be the last thing I'm going to do. Okay, so my chicken is starting to sizzle a little bit. I'm going to stir that up. I'm going to go ahead. I've got my water boiling. I'm going to go ahead and dump my vegetables in there slowly. All right. Need another one. Need another need a spoon here. 
So, now the idea is to bring this back to a boil and cover and simmer. Stir my chicken a little bit. I think this is going to be great. Okay, the rice says we've got eight minutes. Bring this back to a boil. Okay, there we go. Timers are all going off. My vegetables are done. I'm going to take those over and I'm going to put those. I'm doing this one handed. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that in my colander. My veggies drain in there. Now we're gonna bring it back over and I'm gonna put them in the pan with the chicken and add the teriyaki sauce. Okay, got a paper towel underneath the colander and I'm gonna throw those in. Miss the carrot here. And now it's time for a little P.F. Chang sauce. Now, I don't want to use too much of this stuff, otherwise it's not going to be that healthy. So, let's see here. We'll try, we'll start with that. Mix this up. I'm going to turn the heat down to low. Oh, I think what this needs is more teriyaki sauce. Okay, I know that's the secret ingredient right there. Stir that up nice. Okay, just kind of try to get everything coated. And now... It's the moment of truth. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Turn that off. And it is time to dish this up. Okay, so I'm going to move this back here. And we're going to dish this up and see what we've got. Put a little bit of the rice. There we go, not too much. We do want this to be a healthy meal. Don't want to get too crazy. So now, let's dish some of this up. Oh, 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 that looks good. Okay, so see what I've done is I have made a home, homemade teriyaki chicken bowl. Now let's see how it turned out. It's still piping hot. Mm, mm, mm. Don't forget your veggies. Oh my God. Guys, we got us a winner. So it turns out, JP1970 can cook. Thanks for checking out this video. Please be sure and like and subscribe if you haven't already. And leave in the comments down below what you think of my meal. Let me know if you try it. All right. Until next time, everybody. Take care. Mmm. Mmm.
Thank you.